Hi everyone, I'm Jill from Homeschool for Real Life, and I just want to share with you a new way that we have found to practice our math facts. So if you have a wooden Jenga game and two dice, then you have everything you need for this. So what I did, we are currently practicing multiplication and division facts. So we're using two dice and we roll both dice and add them together and the sum is our number that we're working with. On your turn, you get to roll. And so then whatever the sum is, like let's say I roll and I get eight as my sum, then I have to pull a block that is a multiple of eight and put it on the top. And so what I did is I looked at your chances of getting all the different multiples because you're more likely to roll a seven than you are anything else when you're getting your sum here. Six and eight are also quite likely. Two and 12, not as likely, right? And so that kind of helped determine how many times I put different numbers on here and things like that. So if you go in the members area on h4rl.com, you'll be able to find a suggested list of numbers to put on your blocks for practicing multiplication and division facts. So on your turn, you roll, you get the sum, and then you pull a block that has a multiple of that number. Now my kids don't know them lickety split yet, so I made this list, this chart for them, that lists the multiples of the numbers. That way they're still practicing, they're seeing it, they're hearing it each time, but they don't have to come up with every single number. So for us, this is a helpful tool right now. Whoever's turn it is, they have that in front of them. And we get extra practice because once you pull the block, as you put it on top, you have to say the equation. So if I pull out 48 and I rolled eight, my equation is six times eight equals 48. If you wanna make the connection of the fact family, you could even make them say all four. 6 times 8 is 48. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 divided by 6 is 8. 48 divided by 8 is 6. So you could choose as many of those different um, equations in the fact, fact family as you want for practice while you're doing this. So this is a lot of fun, really makes fact practice a lot better than just sitting with flashcards. You could also easily use this for your addition and subtraction facts. Just um, rolling your numbers and putting the sums on here, right? So you could roll two numbers, put the sums on here. Um, you also could use it for equivalent fractions. We've talked about before where, like if you rolled two and four, that would be two fourths, and then you could pull a block that has an equivalent fraction to that. And I will put some suggestions for that also in our members area so you can access those and don't have to come up with that list of what to put on the blocks yourself. So, fun way to practice facts and equivalent fractions. Enjoy your math. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything new. You can also find us on Facebook and visit us at h4rl.com.